this is Eric from Thumpin' Bot Fish, and we're gonna make something called Colombian fried fish. So we've taken about six cloves of garlic, and we're chopping it up really fine, and then we're gonna grind it up in this mortar and pestle. Okay, so, so now we've ground up all the garlic, and we're putting it inside the mortar and pestle, and we're gonna take the pestle and grind it into a paste. For about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds until it forms a fine paste. So now you can see what the garlic actually looks like. And this is what's ready to go onto the fish. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken a striper that I caught yesterday. Yesterday I scaled it, removed the gills, and removed the guts out of it. And now we have the fish. We've rubbed it a little bit with the garlic paste, mixed with some salt and pepper. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna score the fish, cut some slices on each side, then sprinkle it with lime juice and a little bit more of the garlic paste. Okay, so what we do is we cut diagonal slices from the top of the fish down on each side. And we're gonna go ahead and cut three or four slices per slice. See, we score both sides of the fish and we're putting in garlic on each side. The next thing we're gonna do is cut the limes in half and juice some of the lime on there. So now you can see we're squeezing the lime into each side and into the cavity. This is gonna enable the juice to get into the cuts into the side of the fish and make sure that it's seasoned nicely inside and out. Okay. Now we're seasoning the fish with salt as well. Give it a little bit more flavor. So the final step is going to be to dust the fish with flour. So we've taken about a half a cup of flour and put it inside a, bowl, a plate. And we'll lift the whole fish up, dip it into the flour, kind of roll it around and coat it on each side. And then sprinkle some flour on the top. That way it gets nice and crusted with flour. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. One of the things that we did is we kind of twisted the fish to make sure that the cuts were open. And we put some flour inside. And now the fish is ready to go into the frying pan. I'm gonna dip it into the frying pan. So this is also another reason why we cut off the tail. It's a little bit bigger fish than the uh, frying pan. Okay, you see, so this is what the fish looks like. We fried one side and turned it over. As you can see, like I said, the fish was a little bit too big for the frying pan, but ultimately that's okay. We'll eat the majority of the fish. The other thing to consider is since this is a striper, you can see right here where you have a little bit of that red meat. So in the fish fillets, I actually cut out the red meat, but because it's a young fish and it's not, it's not going to be really that fishy. So that red meat, when it's fried like this as a whole fish, actually turns out okay in the family like these. This is a finished product coming out of the frying pan. As you can see, it's well cooked. You notice that it looks a little uh, black on top, like it's burnt, but actually it's not. We were cooking some other fish before this, the regular yummy fried fish recipe. So that's just some of the panko flakes that you see that were stuck in the bottom of the pan. So actually, if I peel those back, you'll see that the fish is nicely fried and ready to eat. So now we'll go ahead and debone it and serve it up.